Hello. The topic of today's laboratory work is identifying the Young's modulus of the bone tissue. The objective of our laboratory work is to measure the Young's modulus of bone tissue by beam deflection method. For small deformations of the bone tissues, the Hooke's law applies. According to the Hooke's law, the mechanical stress in an elastically deformed body is proportional to the modulus of relative deformation. Sigma equals E times Epsilon, where E is the coefficient of elasticity or the Young's modulus. For elastic bodies, the numeric value of the Young's modulus depends only on the nature of the substance. The Young's modulus of bone tissues can reach 10 to the 6th newtons per square meter. Let us perform an experiment. We are going to investigate the middle part of the femur. In order to measure the Young's modulus by beam deflection method, the investigated body in the form of a hollow cylinder, a so-called beam, is placed horizontally on two supports. If we apply the force to the middle of the bone, perpendicular to its longitudinal axis, it's going to deform. The Young's modulus of the bone tissue is measured according to the following formula. E equals K times M times L to the third power divided by D to the fourth power times F, where L is the length of the bone, which is the distance between the supports measured with the help of a ruler. M is the mass of the load, D is the external diameter of the bone, measured with the help of a caliper in three different directions of the section. F is the value of the bone deformation, measured with the help of a dial gauge. K equals 17.4 meters over square seconds. So let us proceed to the laboratory work according to the instructions. First, let's measure the distance between the supports with the help of a ruler. The unit value of the ruler is 1 mm. The distance between the supports is 290 mm. Now let's measure the thickness of the bone in three sections with the help of a vernier's caliper. The unit value of the caliper is 0.5 mm. In the horizontal section, the thickness of the bone is 12.45 mm. Next, we place the dial gauge to the bone in the place of applying the load. In this position, we move the scale to a zero indicator. Next, we apply the load to the bone by applying a weight piece measuring 500 grams. After that, we measure the value of the bone deformation with the help of the indicator scale. The unit value of the indicator is 0.01 mm. We apply the load to the bone with the help of the same weight piece two more times. After that, we tabulate the experiment results. Next, we transfer the results to the international standard units. We calculate the Young's modulus of the bone tissue according to the given formula. Finally, we calculate the measurement errors and draw the conclusions. Good luck!